So the first part of the recipe is personalization. The little things communicate either that I'm treating you like a person or I pull this out of my closet. And when you engage in that way, you give trinkets and swag and promotional items, nothing wrong with that. But the personalization takes it from being swag to this was made for me. In somebody's name, every single thing that goes out of our warehouse every single time has that person's name on it or we won't do it. The personalization of the experience of whatever you're doing is massively important. The second part of the recipe is the inner circle. At the end of the day, like we're all selling something, but we buy from people that we like. And that inner circle element is massively important. That's why 80% of any budget we work with is always targeted at that versus what the decision maker is into. Third part of the recipe is timing. The timing matters just as much as what you're giving. Whereas if you get something out of the blue and it's not your birthday, it's not Christmas, you didn't sign a million dollar deal, it just shows up with a handwritten note and says, hey, just really appreciate you as a human from my family to your family. The timing of it shifts how they would perceive it in their heart. That's how we're able to get away with sending something to, you know, it might be to 10,000 people, but when it shows up out of the blue just because I was thinking of you, all of a sudden it's like, wow, this person chose to do this. Even a sucky gift that shows up just out of the blue because I chose to versus I was, it was obligatory shifts everything. The timing is just as important as what you're sending. The last part of the recipe, what's the most I can do? Most people, like their stationery is maybe 10 cents. I'm like, what if I spent $10? And so our stationery is a sheet of steel, cost 10 bucks. We write thousands of them with a Sharpie and people get them and they're like, what is this? They show it around, they frame it, they have it on their desk. Most people will say, John, this is really expensive. You're talking about just blowing money. I'm like, no, you'll spend $37 on a polo shirt that ends up at Goodwill. I spend 80% less on that and people still are talking about it five years later.